Why are we designed like this? Darwinism, evolution, everything you see came from thousands and thousands of years of carrying, throwing stones, breaking things. A man's responsibility physiologically, not just to himself, but to his community. I mean, think about it. Before the Industrial Revolution, 200 years ago, 300, 400 years ago, we were living in tribes. We were living in teams. People didn't have individual wealth. Well, maybe 500 years ago. Let's go back 5,000 years ago. Oh man, we're talking about the Indus Saravasti River Valley, where they actually had plumbing 5,000 years ago. Imagine that, 500 years ago in the moat. In England, they didn't even have plumbing. They just literally had an open air sewer, which is what caused the plague, underneath the castle. How is it that we de-evolved <laughs> over the years? Anyways, guys, that's not what this is about. This is about exercises men should do every day. And in general, if you're a man, there's certain stretches you need to do every day. They'll only take a few minutes. A little bit of stuff I'll show you, push-ups, dips, pull-ups. You don't have to go to the gym. You could do this stuff literally. Um, if you're a delivery driver, you can open your car door in a safe place where no other cars might crash into your car. I don't mean a parking lot, because crashes happen in a parking lot. You can find somewhere where there's no traffic. Pull over, open your car door, and do dips. A lot of this stuff is going to deal with energy work, it's going to deal with meditation, breathing, imagination, using the mind to control the body, getting the mind deep inside the body. But before we do that, we have to create open channels within the outer body, energy channels that come from the physical body being open, because if we're closed, the energy can't flow through. That's why we need to stretch every day. That's why we need hypertrophy every day. Ambulation, proprioception, namely a certain amount of movement, whether it's basketball, baseball, obviously. I love boxing and kickboxing. Stretching every day. You don't have to do it all the time like I do, but this is one of those stretches. It's called flat back. A couple of twins who were really successful amateur boxers and professional dancers taught me this. And they told me that this is what professional dancers do for a full 20 minutes. My legs are super wide. You could probably fit a three foot yoga ball between my legs right now. This is not, right here, it's no longer flat back. It's standing forward fold, totally different thing. What we're doing here, if you could see my back, we're literally just pulling out the lower back, kind of straightening everything out, elongating the spine, pulling the head up, pushing the shoulders back, engaging the hips. Have you ever seen street tumblers? Gymnasts and performers who take tourists in any major country, you know, in the city and line them up and jump over them? Watch those guys sometime. Every single troop you see will do this before they start. Like, ladies and gentlemen, gather around. The dancers are here, whether it's California, New York, and France in Africa, in Asia. This is the warm-up stretch. And I'm so glad I'm doing this video so I actually get a chance to do it for the first time in a few days, you know, for the proper amount of time. This isn't even it, I mean it seriously. Like you should do this for 20 minutes a day before you move into your straddle stretches, your stances and so forth and stuff like that. Really opening up the energy channels of the body, breathing, circulating everything like we learn in Qigong, literally trying to figure out circles, arm circles, circles with your waist, circles with your joints. Just don't do them with your neck because studies have found that they can literally grind on the vertebrae if you do too many rotations with the neck. So you want to be nice and easy with the neck. So just some thoughts there. I know you want to get into this manly exercises where we're going to be crushing muscles uh, I do too. That's what I live for. I love strength training. I also love gains and hypertrophy. And, and hopefully I'll get a chance to really build with you guys and get in great shape 
right alongside with you. But really, you got to do so many different stretches. I learned this in NCAA championship college tennis. You know, there was a 15 minute stretching routine that they took us through triceps, biceps, back, chest, quadriceps, hamstring. I still find myself doing it throughout the day, even if I'm standing at a train station. I'm grabbing the back of my foot and stretching my quads. And it feels so great. You need, there's just certain muscles you need to stretch and train and activate every day. And there's a certain amount of motion that you need every day in order to look 20 years younger than you should. Because we've devolved. We all used to look great. We all used to look how we should have looked back when we were starving, hunting for food and throwing rocks around. But now that we've developed wealth, we don't need to defend ourselves. We don't need to carry fish and meat and logs for fire. We can hire somebody to do it so we can sit on our couch and get fat and sit in a car. We can just sit and not move. And that's a horrible thing because this body we've been given is a gift and it's exponential for every hour that you put in to exercising you're going to get 10 hours of life back amazing life not only will you get those free nine hours you'll look good in those nine hours and your body will be healthier and you'll be happier and you'll look better just all these different benefits you'll be able to live longer because you've got those extra nine days that can exponentially, each one of those days, you can exercise and get an additional nine days on top of that. So, perpetual motion does exist. Free life does exist. Because after all, aren't we all just, what is the saying? Spiritual experiences or spirits having a physical experience. I don't think any of us would be here if we didn't agree on that. That's the truth. So, there it is, guys. There you go. Every day you want to do deep leg bends, deep knee bends. Do this flat back stretch that the twins taught me. Really cool, cool kids. I wish I could actually uh, get back in touch with them and maybe even do some training with them on this channel because uh, those kids were just really, really cool. They really also understood the science of boxing and straight punches and... Um, one of them married an attorney. And although these kids were like, it was the weirdest combination. They were literally like, they had worked as professional dancers and models and they'd also been way on the wrong side of the tracks. Like many fighters, like totally lost everything and been as down and out as you can imagine. But I'll never forget, I ran into them at one point and they had tons of money too, more than you could imagine. These, really strange story these kids they had wealth at some point in their life because of course one of them was married to an attorney and uh, you know and at other alternate points of their life they experienced insolvency a lack of being solvent and a lack of having liquidity ducats money being broke being strapped not having shekels I ran into them at one point when they were experiencing that and they were just out there they were both sitting out there, I'll never forget this, and they were just reading books. I think just like fiction, Harry Potter, you know, like uh, um, whatever it was. They are both re sitting there reading novels. I just thought to myself, man, what cool kids. So twins, if you're out there, if anybody knows about these kids, you know, shout me out. So many experiences in life. Uh, I wish I could rewind uh, coaching street kids how to box and defend themselves in India. Anybody in Kerala, India, remember Boxer Man? Any of the child slaves there who had to sell pashminas and used to get beat up by the truant officers and their parents and the teachers at public school and try to sell pashminas? And you guys remember those finger breaks I taught you and how to block the Wing Chun and everything? Hit me up, comment below. All right, guys. Just remember, I love you, I believe in you, and I believe that the best version of all of us is yet to come. Me, you, we can make it happen. We can crush it this year. This can be an amazing year. So cut out the drugs, cut out the alcohol, 
cut out any negative thoughts whatsoever. Take a deep breath and inhale positivity, health, happiness, success, and renewal. That's what it's about this year, taking care of ourselves and creating the best version of ourselves that we can. I believe in you guys. Let's do this.